Hello, Abundant TV viewers. My name is Tammy Simenez, and I felt especially drawn today to come to you and share a devotional that really resonated with my heart. So I, I pray the same for you if you're going through what I'm about to read. The combination of scriptures that um, are embedded in this devotion comes from Ephesians and Hebrews and Psalms. And it talks about how the Lord wants us to experience the richness of our salvation. And he goes on to say in this devotion that the joy of how much the Lord loves us is overwhelming. He loves us so, so, so constant and perfectly. And I love the emphasis on constant because as human beings, we can be inconsistent unstable or unreliable and it says here that we tend to base our worth off of how we look how we feel and how we behave and if we look in the mirror and we like what we see then we can feel worthy but if we um, or adequate but if we feel that we are needing to fix something then we can get discouraged and we can look internally to try and fix that. And the devotional says that it's, it's so practical, but it's something that I know I'm guilty of, of falling short of fixing my eyes on the lover of our soul, which we know is Jesus. And so it just goes on to say, just fix our eyes, fix our praises on him, on him. Even if it doesn't feel like a, a genuine fixing because we need to guard our hearts and our minds and we may be trying to praise him and the enemy's like, nope, you're not worthy, but we are. And so this devotional says that rather than using our time and energy to judge ourselves, to what I was just saying, redirected to praise him and to remember that we are clothed in righteousness and in his radiant perfect love I know sometimes when we're going through something that's not the first thing that pops in our mind but I'm going to pray because that is a weapon of mass destruction and that is in our arsenal to fight the good fight back I'm going to pray that his supernatural love and influence just pours out over us and we continue to remind and repeat ourselves doing that because we can get distracted by the wrong things that I was saying above earlier. So that is what I want to leave you with and I just pray that you have a great day and until next time we can live as loved and we can live in his righteousness and in his glory and in his power and that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Okay, well, until next time, take care.